Agent Carter, Season 2, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Monsters. Another episode I love. Spoilers throughout this video for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we open on Whitney at the funeral, and I quite appreciate she manages to slip in some, some code speak. Like, if you're just listening to her, you know, yeah, she said, you know, I'm I'm stronger for, you know, it, it sounds like standard funeral speak, but, you know, she just spotted that Peggy is, you know, listening attentively, so it's, she's telling Peggy, you know, this has only made me stronger, you are not going to defeat me, and, let's, <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna talk uh, about the thing, and <laughs> I love Dottie's. Oh, it's so romantic! This is our first date, <laughs> and you know Vernon loves seeing Kurtwood Smith so intense and intimidating again. Like he just, it's it's unreal how. Like, just, yeah, he's he's so great. He's so, and, and you know, yeah, this scene of him talking torture with Dottie is some of the best he's gotten to do on this show so far. Let's see, and yeah, he meant, you know, the witch of the, your mother. <laughs> and yeah, he talks about, you know, I very quickly got the, the information out of her. You know, and she used to cut tattoos, tattooed skin off. And, you know, then Dottie says she has, let's see, uh, oh, yeah, here. I've pulled out my own teeth, my own nails, my own hair. I've burned my own flesh with a blowtorch. I'm no Nazi harlot. And you are wasting my time. God, I love Dottie. She, when, I, when I've watched all the episodes of this show, she's one of the characters I'm going to miss the most. You know, her and Whitney, and, and obviously Peggy as well. And it's just, there's just something about villain characters. You know, they, because they will, they're willing to do evil. The, the acting gets to be so much more, like, yeah, they get to deliver lines and carry out actions that are, you know, deeply compelling to, for the, for the viewer. Let's see, and, um, let's see, then we have the, Yeah, they talk about, you know, the, the, uh, let's see, yeah, the, the, you know, sh she requires your presence. I'm busy. You want I should tell her that? <laughs> Fine. No, obviously I do not want you to tell the, the super-powered serial killer that is currently our boss that I don't have time for her. And... Yeah, she talks about, you know, she needs those rods. It's not enough for them to just make new ones. And yeah, Whitney goes to, to talk to Dottie. And she's like, I'm not in the movie world, but I think you might need something, you know, some thicker makeup to cover that up. Just wow. And yeah, so Whitney says a couple of things, and then Dottie's like, we're exactly the same, you know, it's like, she's, like, the mockery is just so thick, like, just, yeah, and, and, you know, Whitney says, we're not in the same boat, we're not even in the same ocean, and, let's see, Uh, 
yeah, and and you know she gets the the information about the the blood sample, and it's great that we, you know we don't see exactly what transpires after that, and then later you know this is a trap. Yes, I know that. Not for you, you know. Very clever. Yeah, she wanted to to see about Doctor Wilkes with uh, yeah. And then we have the let's see. Yeah, they they you know the experiment worked. They managed to get Doctor Wilkes back, and and we have the the kiss, and yeah. You know that is like like he said that's been a long time coming. It's <clears throat> he has wanted. To, there's been yeah there's been sexual tension between them for a very long time. And let's see. yeah and yeah Daniel speaks in code. Uh, you know because Vernon Masters is right there and he can't give away that he's talking to to Peggy. There has been a theft on your watch. Don't be ridiculous. My watch is right Oh my Daddy That's my head cannon now. She just she's constantly stealing people's wristwatches. Just cause she can. Just to mess with them. And yeah, I appreciate you know yeah, Jarvis is Edwin is like, um I mean this is very conspicuous timing and you know and she's like yeah we're, we're walking into a trap obviously and I love the smile on her face when she acknowledges this is definitely a trap you know she's she's excited about walking into this trap which is not exactly the kind of reassurance that he was hoping for and we see the the jitterbug machine which yeah um the let's see. Uh, yeah, allow me to present the jitterbug, a non-lethal concussive device with a blast field of 170 degrees. How it couldn't spring for the other 190 degrees? Which, like, I mean, then you wouldn't be able to be near it, though. I, anyway, um, let's see. And yeah, and I love you know. At, at first, it sounds okay. Yeah, okay, it's. You know, whatever, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal. And then he actually demonstrates it, and it's like a massive concussive blast. Like, just, yeah. Let's see. And. Uh, yeah. Um, very sweet. Anna and Edwin, you know. Yeah. Um, and I like, so, so yeah, Edwin does not like the silence, so he's trying to fill it, and Peggy is like, you're, you're pecking around like a mother hen, and, yeah, talk about the, the love triangle, which, yeah, that is definitely, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of them, but they have an audience, so. I respect that. Stop right now. Thank you very much. And let's see. Yeah, I like, you know, who are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm just the distraction. And then Peggy comes in with a sucker punch. Aw, oh, Peggy, is this a rescue? <laughs> you know, you, you could just say thank you. You could say, I appreciate the attempt. You could say, Good job. But no, of course she just yeah. And yeah, and, and we have the thing about, you know, careful Peggy, if I get loose before you, there's no telling what I'll do. <laughs> and yeah, the um Anna and Jason, Dr. Jason talk about Dr. Wilkes talk about the Yeah, the the various problems and the the wine and I, I like the thing about you know oh palladium core which of, of course is what Tony ends up using and 
yeah, just I I love that Whitney is legitimately fascinating. You know, she she walks in and she's like, "Oh, so you're working on this, this? Mm, not bad." You know, she, there's a game rep, rep recognizes game. You are just full of surprises, and yeah, like legitimately the the this thing of the the fact that. You know, yeah, she thought she would just be able to get back the the thing, but he resists, and yeah, you know, she says, I'm "Not gonna lie, that stings." And yeah, she talks about you know we could help each other, and points out you know marginalized people can become desperate, and that's you know he and Jane something JS were hired because the desperation let's see and yeah Daniel Sousa is going to try to join but you know he's he's stopped and beaten and Anna actually confronts holy crap she is not yeah <laughs> That's that's legitimately badass, and <clears throat> yeah, Whitney shoots Anna, you know, in order to buy them some time, and let's see, we have the uh, right, right, and yeah, early in the episode we had another reference to, you know, misogyny, of course. You know, Howard is so obsessed with, with women that he, you know, he programmed by the measurements of these, you know, actresses. Um, let's see, yeah, and even though Peggy warns the cop, you know, very shortly after, you know, Dottie escapes. And... Yeah, great bit of, you know, it, yeah, Sousa and, and Vernon Masters talking. And it's very clear, you know, obviously Vernon arranged for the beating. And, you know, he, yeah, he takes over the, the SSR. And, yeah, at least for now, there's nothing Sousa can really do. And, let's see, then we have the... Um, yeah, and yeah, um, Peggy calls Sousa to, to, you know, talk to him, and it's Vernon who picks up the phone. And we end on the note that, you know, Anna is still in the OR, and they, in, in surgery, and they don't know if they can save her or not. So that's, yeah. They already took Violet away from Sousa. I really hope they don't also kill off Anna. Um, but yeah, really excited to see next episode. Um, one thing, the, the, the still for the IMDb entry for this episode, the main picture, the one that, you know, in... If it were a movie, that's where the like the poster or DVD cover or something would be. It shows Whitney at the funeral, but she's like lifted her veil, and you see the scar down her face. That never actually appears in the episode. That's sometimes they do that. Sometimes they'll put something up that doesn't actually appear in the episode. Yeah, it is a very cool look though. So maybe they just wanted to show that off. Anyway, the IMDb trivia for this episode. See. Yeah, someone pointed out about the Palladium Core, the Arc Reactor, and let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. When Vernon Masters prepares to interrogate Dottie Underwood, he brags he tortured Ilse Koch, 
the witch of Buchenwald. Koch is indeed a historical figure, wife of a Nazi concentration camp commander tried for war crimes who killed herself in custody in 1967. But at the time U.S. forces arrested her in 1945, she and her husband had long been removed from their posts, tried for corruption, murdered by a German court. Her husband was executed shortly before the end of the war. It's a Koch was no doubt a sadistic person, but never involved in decision-making, management, etc. So there was very little useful information Vernon Masters could have extracted from her. And oh, <laughs> Peggy Carter states Dottie is in the Santa Va Santa Clarita Valley near a place called Newhall. Disney's Golden Oak Ranch is located in Newhall in Santa Clarita. And that is it. So I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. So catch you then, and until then, I will leave you with this exchange from the start of the episode. Something happened in that fundraiser. Chadwick must have turned against her. Do you think she killed Dottie Underwood too? Dottie's nothing if not a survivor. I won't believe any stories of her demise until I see a dead body before me. And even then I might not believe it.